Hi, this is a walkthrough for using conditional text in Microsoft Word. In our example, we're going to use the account employee number as well as the account record type field. To begin, we're going to tag up our document by going to the DDPs tab, choosing our DDP, and then opening up the field tagger. We must make sure the document type matches the document we're using. Then we must access our document and then begin tagging. First we're going to use the employee field, copy the field tag, and then begin a word formula by selecting the insert tab inside Microsoft Word, then choosing quick parts and formula. And we're going to choose to use an if formula. The syntax for using an if formula can be found on the Microsoft support website. But for this field, we're going to evaluate whether it's greater than 50 and then set it equal to a checked or unchecked box. So you can toggle the field code by right clicking on the field and then insert a symbol for a unchecked box or a checked box. You can do this in the font Wingdings2 and insert the field by selecting the insert button. So in the field being set up currently, we're evaluating whether the number of employees is greater than 50, and if it is, we're checking a box, and if it's under 50, we're leaving the box unchecked. Next, we're going to insert another formula to evaluate the account record type field. So we must first grab the account record type tag, copy it, and then insert a new formula. Now because the account record type tag is going to return text, we must put it within quotes and then evaluate the text in quotes again. So if it's equal to partner, we're going to return the text, this company is a partner of ours. And if it's false, we're going to return a blank value. And because the value is currently false, it's blank, but we can toggle it by right-clicking the field and selecting Toggle. And you can see the entirety of the code. Next we're going to save the document and upload it to Salesforce. Now that we've replaced the document inside of Salesforce, we can run the DDP. So now we must navigate to the account record and select run. And because the number of employees is greater than 100, we should receive a check box. And because the account is a partner, we should receive the text, this company is a partner of ours. Now that we've downloaded the Word doc, we can open it up and confirm that the word formula worked. And as you can see, we have a checkbox and the correct text. And that is how you use conditional text inside of Microsoft Word. Thank you.